Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to have an addendum video for the 2016 version of Maya, and we're focusing on the Insert Edge Loop tool. So the Insert Edge Loop tool has changed menu positions. It used to be in the Edit Mesh uh, menu, but now it's been incorporated into the new menu called Mesh Tools. And under Mesh Tools, we have here Insert Edge Loop. So if I go into the options of Insert Edge Loop, most of the options here are the same. There is one new option, however, Insert with Edge Flow, and then we have an Adjust Edge Flow slider here next to that. So I'm going to create, let's try a torus. We'll create Polygon Primitives Torus, like so. And let's say I want to insert an edge loop in my torus. So I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop. So like in the original video I made a long time ago, uh, as of this recording, if I click and drag on an edge, you have that dotted line showing where the edge loop will be put in the mesh. And I let go and it creates the edge loop. Let me undo that, however, and let's turn on Insert with Edge Flow. Now if you notice, when I inserted the edge before, let me do that again without edge flow first. So I clicked and dragged through here and I let it go. So now you see this edge was inserted into this area of the torus. Well you notice how the torus has this curvature, I mean it's like this donut shape. But the edge loop that we inserted is not following along with that flow of the geometry. It's just a straight line cutting through this section of the donut. It doesn't have that curvature. That, follow along, that follows along with the flow of the object. So if I insert with edge flow, click and drag, and let go, you see how the edge kind of offsets slightly to adhere or to conform to the shape of the object. Go into my inputs here for poly split ring one. So down here I have the insert with edge flow turned on, and I have the adjust edge flow value, which is that slider that we saw before insert with edge flow and then adjust edge flow as default value of 1. So if I want to modify that edge flow and see how it results on the object, I can put on control while I'm going to click and drag and see how an edge flow of 1 conforms to the flow of the geometry completely while edge flow of 0 makes it go back to as if edge flow was not turned on at all. So you can have like a percentage of the edge flow if you want. Let me zoom in actually so you can see a little bit better. Like that. So edge flow of 1, the edge will conform to the flow of the geometry. Edge flow of 0, it does not at all. It acts as if edge flow is turned off. You can have like a 0.5 and get it kind of halfway if you wished for whatever object you're working on. So that's the main difference between Maya 2016 and the old version that I was using in my original video. Uh, they have the edge flow option, which is I think is really awesome. You don't have to adjust the edges after you've inserted them to kind of make them flow along with the geometry like you used to have to. And they have this new menu called Mesh Tools, which this has been added to and moved away from the ed Edit Mesh menu. So in the Mesh Tools menu, insert Edge Loop Tool. I'm going to have to go through and make uh, adjust my playlists. <laughs> if you don't know, the playlists in my uh, YouTube channel are all labeled based on the menu names. So you can go to the Edit Mesh playlist, for example, and you'll have all the videos from the Edit Mesh menu. But they've changed things in 2016, so I'm going to have to make a new playlist called Mesh Tools and start adding in the tools that they've moved. <laughs> so anyway, that's, well, that's my own problem to worry about. Hopefully uh, soon after this video goes up, you'll see those changes start to conform with the newest version of Maya like you'd expect. In any case, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and like I said before, everything else in the Edge Loop Tool options is still the same as uh, the previous video. I'll put a link here, right here, if you want to go back to the original video and see the rest of these options explained. They all work the same way as before. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.